Welcome. Going on a trip today, going around to Cassidon. Hope to go to Portland, but the Western's ground there. My contact didn't get back to me, so we'll see how we go. We're going to Durgan first. I think it's like half an hour, so 45 minutes maybe, but we'll see how we go. I've driven for five minutes and we are already at the Victoria side of the border. About 29 minutes away. I don't live too far away from the border, as you can see. Just made a quick stop here at Lane Coop. You can see this once was a tennis court. It's not a footy club or anything, but I remember this actually being half, not decent, but it actually was a tennis court here at one stage. Now it's all just gone. I think the hole here may have been a school, or I'm not really sure. There was a school here at some stage. I want to sort of do a uh, video on all the narrow court schools, or schools around narrow court, I guess. Here we are at Durgham. They, uh, the hole is here, the oval's over there. We'll have a look. The pub in the scrub is down there. That's what Durgham's most known for. That was pretty cool. They only finished up playing in 1969, so not really that long ago. It was still alright. They probably would have played cricket here not too long ago. Now we're off to Wando Vale, which is like on the other side of Casterton, 28 minutes away. So see how we go. All right, we're here. It's a current cricket ground, surprisingly. It was a pretty good drive, actually. There's heaps of hills around this part of southwest Victoria, and it's good to drive in, but went through a bit of a bit, a bit with a bush, and there were about six, maybe even ten kangaroos. It was a bit like that RSBCA ad where they walk across the screen. It was a bit like that, so I had to slow right down for those kangaroos. Um, luckily avoided them, but anyway, let's have a look. Super impressed with Wando Vale. Didn't expect there to be so much here. A massive hole. I didn't expect it to be that big. And an old primary school, which was still used up until 2000, which is crazy. It's uh, just down there, but I think it might be someone's land now. So I didn't go in there, but yeah, still very cool. Something really unexpected just happened. I'm in Cassidon, which is the town of this area. I've gone to this op shop over here. Well, not op shop, it's an antique place. And I've found all these jumpers. I did not expect any jumpers at all. She was a really good lady in there. So SANFL could be West Torrance, but it doesn't really match the colour scheme, which is strange. But anyway, another one might be Glencoe or something like that. It's just the kids. Um, SA Country Carnival for this region. Uh, NTFL Seatbelt. I'll show you. I'll do a better video than this. But And also a Western Border Interleague. But yeah, anyway, very cool. All right, for lunch at the Servo. Mountain Dew. I've gone vegetarian, chips, and potato cakes. Definitely not vegetarian, but this is as far as it goes. Okay, now I'm going to go to Cashmore. This was the ground I thought I wouldn't be able to get to, so fingers crossed we can get in there. All right, update. I was able to go to Cashmore through my contact, Toby, so really appreciate me him helping me out there. And now I'm at the new ground in Portland itself, and it's way better. I can understand why they wanted to move. Uh, I think I might go to Winnip soon. I think that's how you say that. Um, yeah, I think so. I'll, I'll work it out now. All right, I forgot about Drumborg, which is 25 minutes away. And then we'll go to Winnip after that. Haven't got to Drumborg yet. I've stopped at Haywood here. Crazy to think they used to play in the Western Border League against the Mount Gambier teams. Now they play in a much smaller league. They do have an electric scoreboard, which I didn't expect. I also just had to get... A bit of a uh, snack here. Don't know what it's like. It should be good. Uh, but then we go to Drumborg after this. The biscuit is a little bit dry, but you expect that from a uh, ice cream. There's a surprising amount of people around Haywood. They're, they're playing tennis out here and a few people in the main street. It, the bakery was open and I should have went there. Um, but it's really weird for a bakery to be open on a Sunday. So didn't actually expect that. Okay, here we are, Drumborg. It's a massive hole here as well. I don't know why the holes are so big, but it's actually pretty impressive. Um, the ground probably hasn't been used for a little while. Would have been used for cricket for quite a while, I reckon. Um, but yeah, now I think I might go to Winnap. Okay, so Winnap was a bit of an L. Um, I've taken the two minute drive oh, because like it was locked um, and I could have easily jumped the fence, but when I do the videos, I want to try and go somewhere that's public but i might try and go back there um it says you can like hire the hall out still and i don't know i I'm, could have asked the neighbors next to it but i might go back there and just take a photo of it but i'm taking the two three minute drive to darmore here home of jeremy cameron 
They used to be the Swans until they changed to the Giants because of Cameron. Um, I guess the Giants were sort of helping him out as well. Weird tennis court situation. Um, the netball courts must be up. No, they're up the back here, so I'll show them in a video. All right, Main Street of Dartmoor, the primary school. The Jesse Cameron sign's just there. Someone predicted he'd get 68 goals. I uh, put the sign, not as it was, but just as two dashes. So we'll see how many goals Jesse Cameron can get this year. Back at Wynnum now, you can see Paul Boy Key at Canoe High, Nelson Road, right. And um, public tennis court entrance. Please keep gate closed. And it's locked. So, yeah, could jump the fence here, but I don't think the vibe's right. There's a house there as well. So, I might just come back another time, I reckon. There is a house over there as well, but yeah, leave it. Okay, I've driven t about 25 minutes to get to a place called Digby. Uh, Marino Digby played here, but they played at Marino like until 1990. So here at Digby wasn't used for quite a while. Um, but I haven't been able to make a video here because it's in a paddock, someone's land. I think the ground is just that bit of dirt paddock down there. Um, there's a couple of cattle in there. Uh, it might be further on, I'm not quite sure. A couple of horses here as well, enjoying themselves, but uh, there is a back road down there. I might try and go down there and see what I can do. Otherwise, I'll just get a, some shots of from up here. So I'm at Marino now. At Digby, I couldn't really get any good shots of the ground, but probably enough to make a video, and I'll include some stuff here at Marino. It's a way better ground. Hills all around it, used up until 1990, and cricket, I think, probably in the last 10, 15 years, it has been mown, and like, I have done a video on this before, one of the first videos I did, and it wasn't mown at the time, after a pretty wet winter, so it looks way better now, uh, but I used to host grand finals here, like, you can sit up here on the hill, and there's some great footage of a grand final in the 80s, where there was an all-in, I uh, don't think I could probably include that footage, they might not like that, but... Yeah, uh, it's a pretty good place where they used to host the Southwest, Southwest District Grand Finals. Now to another Southwest District club, or former, until 2013, uh, Sanford. It's, it's also one of my other favourite clubs. I did a video, uh, favourite grounds, um, I did a video like when I started doing the footy ground videos. Um, and I'm still looking to get a jumper, but luckily because I was wearing a Crows shirt, mm, some food on it. <laughs> um... When I went into the antique shop in Cassidon, because this is just outside Cassidon, I'm on my way home and um, just stopping in here. Anyway, um, the woman in the antique shop, she is a Crows fan as well. So um, hopefully she helps me get a Cassidon jumper. Oh, sorry, Sanford jumper. Because they're part of Cassidon now, but this ground does not get used. Very cool with the mountains in the background. It's summer now, but in winter it will look very good. Um, the goals here are getting a bit rusty, but they did have like a country music here, thing here not that long ago. Um, so that's why it's all mown and looking quite decent at the moment. All right, now final ground, Cassidon. They still play, well, they currently play in the Western Border Football League. Cassidon and Sanford, they technically are. Just dropped dry the, uh, the food works there. Got a Sun Gold. Um, I was going to say fresh. Sun Gold FM. Uh, chilled chocolate flavoured milk. Um, it was a disgrace they didn't have this at the Warrnambool AFLW game. When if marmalade, if any of the marmalade guys are seeing this, they need to try this out. Well, they probably already have tried out Sun Gold, but yeah, interesting. Um, you can't get it anywhere else apart from Southwest Victoria. And here's the footy ground. Good seats over there. They must have put them in there recently. Uh, they haven't updated this sign, and I don't think they will, to be honest. Um, and they do have an electronic scoreboard now, home of the cats, but not a bad ground, but you can't really see the hills because of the trees. Um, but Cassidon is a very scenic part of Victoria. So I'm just having a kick here at Cassidon. Here's the old scoreboard, the new scoreboard there. I would love to get up there, but I've taken off the uh, steps and I <laughs> tried to climb up here, but it's just too sketchy. One of the, you can see the visitors sign there and Millicent sign is there but it would be cool to see the other signs i saw a portland sign and they're no longer in the western border which is cool but yeah also they have the smallest ever fence very very small fence on this side finally home it's about 8 30 now the trip took longer than i thought but it was still a good one 
Um, I, from Cassadin, uh, the trip there was pretty slow because, um, instead of an hour, it took me an hour and a half. Well, also I did stop at Durgham and, um, got some photos of the club there, which was handy. I had a Coke there. Um, uh, but I saw heaps of kangaroos, probably like 20 kangaroos there. Lucky enough, I also found out through a mate that Bag Gallo or someone, I need to find out the name, played at the Cassadin Back Oval. So also got a video of that. Uh, pretty happy with the trip. Thanks for watching.